Coming up on this week's edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. We'll meet some outstanding producers, marketers, and educators who demonstrate the very best in quality animal care and handling. Plus, see how an Alabama seed stock operation is working to produce high-performing cattle for its customers. And now, NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Hello and welcome to NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Ochsner. Every day, NCBA staff in Washington, D.C. work on a number of policy and regulatory issues that could impact the U.S. beef industry. We've got an update on what's happening in our nation's capital in this week's Beltway Beef Spotlight. NCBA was recently in New York City for the announcement of a new trade agreement between the United States and Japan. Under these new terms of trade, U.S. beef will be on equal footing with all of our competitors in the Japanese market. We're very excited because for many years we faced a high 38.5% tariff. And under these new terms of trade, we will see that tariff drop to an equal level playing field. This is important for us because Japan is our number one export market. Last year, we sold over $2 billion worth of beef to Japanese consumers at that 38.5% tariff. We're very excited of what 2020 will hold for us when we'll be at a level playing field in Japan. This is an important development for producers on the ground because Japan, as our leading export market, already accounts for about $80 per head. With new expanded access and more competitive access in Japan, we could see that value grow even more. There's strong demand throughout Asia, and we were concerned that not having an equal footing in our number one export market would be detrimental to our producers. So this is a great day for us, and we're excited for what the future holds in Japan. Want to stay on top of the issues in Washington? Just follow the Beltway Beef Feed on Twitter for the latest news. You can also help support the work done on Capitol Hill by becoming an NCBA member. When you join, you'll receive the Beltway Beef Newsletter, a weekly update straight from NCBA staff in Washington, D.C. To join, just call 1-866-233-3872, or you can visit the website ncba.org. Reaching success in the seed stock business requires a commitment to quality while serving the needs of your customers. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Russell Nemitz takes us to Alabama to meet a family that's achieving all those goals. CK Cattle Company is a family operation, several generations deep. Uh, we've evolved as we've gone along and grown our farm, added members, added land, and just grown the operation to keep up with the family to support us all. Like so many other cattle operations across the country, CK Cattle, located in South Central Alabama, started out small, but with big dreams. We started with just a few pairs in 1978. I was operating a cattle operation uh, for my father-in-law. And uh, in 1989, I think we had probably 37 cows going back to those original four. And we were able to continue to multiply. And it has gone by leaps and bounds since then. We're in an area where uh, it's a lot of open land, so, you know, growing, we, we've been blessed, but it's, we've been able to expand, you know, through leasing land and purchasing land through the years. We're running just a little over 800 head of uh, mama cows right now, and we raise and develop a little over 200 bulls here annually, and we also raise, uh, breed, and develop a little better than 200 heifers here annually. Unlike most farmers in our area, there is no extra source of income. We, we work here on the farm and self-sustain it and make our living solely from the cattle. Good genetics run deep at CK Cattle, both in the cattle and the people, and the family's pride in the legacy they're building is clear. You know, you, you got to take the challenges to get the rewards, and the, the rewards is we're raising our kids and our grandkids have been raised in a wonderful environment, and all that I do and I look at it, we're We'll never be able to slow down. Me and Kate, I mean, we're turning around here, you know, we've gone from one family to two families to three families. There's no such thing as slowing down. You, you're on a fast track, but the, that challenge is worthwhile 
when you look at the reward of being able to raise your families in this type of environment. There's a great source of pride and pleasure that comes from working with family. It's tough at times, but you got to work through it. Um, and having kids coming up and having them want to go with you first thing in the morning. She's three years old, wanting to wear her blue jeans and go to work. I mean, it's uh, the amount of pride you get from bringing your daughter up to love the land and the cattle and I'm starting from an early age. I think the thing that makes you more proud than anything is the potential for you to leave the legacy to the next generation. We, we love what we do, we're passionate about it. I feel like we've got the best way of life that there is. And uh, it would mean more to me than just about anything if my children decided one day to come back and get involved in this operation. Using three breeds and the highest performing bulls from cows in their herd, CK Cattle produces animals that fit their deep south environment and their exceptional customer service fits their buyer's expectation. They raise good bulls and we've had good luck out of them. They work good in this part of the country and um, they raise good calves and they work good for us. We're trying to select some of those animals that work really well in our environment. We're at the furthermost point south in the fescue belt and so coupled with the heat and humidity that dirty fescue really works on these cattle and we want to raise cattle that work in our environment and that can handle that fescue as well as our heat and humidity. The cow herd is an Angus based cow herd. Angus is in everything. It's, it's our common neighbor. We've, I've treated the Angus as a maternal breed. That's been my concentration with, with the Angus cattle is, is from trying to make sure the cow herd works in our area and and uh, that's been what attracted me to Angus. I feel like they're very adaptable to the South. And, uh, you know, there's great carcass traits. I'm able to keep my Angus focus maternal because we do use two other breeds to cross with Angus. We use the Simital and the Kenny, and we have Sim Angus and Key Angus. I have very deep roots in the Key Angus. The Key Angus has always been a staple here in this operation. Uh, it goes back into the 70s. Uh, Mr. Chuck worked with his father-in-law, Ned Ellis, and uh, they were bringing over some of the first Kianina cattle, and those Kianina cattle were breeding back, and uh, they were getting, you know, percentage bulls. The Key Angus bulls have been something that we've raised and developed here over the last 30 years and have been able to sell to our neighbors and commercial cattlemen, and feeder calves tend to sell really well here in this area. The calves off their bulls are great, They're big calves, good number one black calves, and they bring a premium at sale, so it's a good response. CK Cattle has found success by standing behind what they sell and keeping their customers' needs top of mind. This operation started as more of a larger scale commercial cattle operation and you know we haven't we haven't forgotten that. I mean that's still the roots of this operation. Although we're seed stock right now and you know we raise a lot of animals that will be sold as bulls and replacements. We still have that correlation and that tie to the commercial producer. We understand, you know, where the importance lies in a lot of these operations and what works and what doesn't work. They're a great bunch of people and, uh, they're, I mean, they're willing to work with you and do whatever, help you out any way in the world they can. They do, do such a good job with the bulls. Uh, standing behind them is one of the main things, that I, selling points that I tell to the, our customers, that if they have any trouble out of them, that they will come back and make it good. You know. The customer is the most important thing in our operation. We know that, and we try to have a great relationship with our customers. You know, the CK guarantee is pretty simple. I mean, we live by the golden rule. We want to treat you like you want to be treated. If you have a problem with your bull, we're going to back them. I truly feel that when they buy our bulls, they are buying a product that we have complete faith in, and we stand behind them. CK Genetics will be on display this fall at their upcoming production sale on October 25th, but visitors are welcome any day of the year. We're definitely open to folks coming in and we encourage it. Uh, folks coming in before sale and taking a look at the bulls out in the pastures and getting a good feel for them. We'll, we'll always make time and uh, we'll, we'll always be available for that. From the fescue belt of Alabama, I'm Russell Nimitz for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. As Bradfield mentioned, you can learn more about CK Cattle Company's fall sale offerings by going to their website at ckcattle.com. When we come back, we'll head to Texas for a look at a longtime beef industry leader who recently won a very prestigious award. That story and more when we return. 
Join the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. NCBA is the oldest cattle industry organization, working every day to defend your interests in Washington, D.C. And there are big benefits to being a member. You'll get news you can use in the National Cattlemen and policy updates from Beltway Beef. Plus big discounts from John Deere, Cabela's, and more great partners. Join now. Call 866-233-3872 or sign up online at ncba.org. Time is of the essence in high quality hay production. Most forages lose 20% of their total digestible nutrients and 40% of their protein just 10 days after their optimal harvest stage. You've got to hit the field when the time is right. Take a look at the full lineup of disc mower conditioners from Case IH with cutting widths from 9 to 16 feet. Case IH combines fast cutting with high quality conditioning. Conditioning systems up to 125 inches allow for wider, thinner swaths so more crop is exposed to the sun for a faster dry down and higher feed value. Plus our quick change knife system won't let dull blades slow you down. Case IH disc mowers deliver the rugged durability you need for even the roughest or rockiest hay field. So if you're ready for high efficiency hay production, talk to your local Case IH dealer or visit caseih.com forward slash minute to learn more. For more than 40 years, the National Ranching Heritage Center at Texas Tech University has been handing out the Golden Spur Award. Each winner is someone who has shown devotion to the land while providing leadership for the livestock industry. This year, former NCBA president Bob McCann was honored. Matt Fleck has more on this outstanding member of the cattle industry. McFadden Enterprises is a family-owned cow-calf operation located in southeastern Texas. The ranch was started in 1877, and Bob McCann is the fifth generation to live and work on this land. I grew up as a child on this ranch, and, and uh, I grew up riding horseback and riding pasture. And that's what I did from the time I was seven years old until I graduated college, you know, in, in uh, so that, that kind of got in my blood, I guess you could say. And it was never a job for me. It was always something that I enjoyed doing. In the early 1900s, this ranch was home of the first full-blooded herd of Brahmin cattle in the United States. But in the 1940s, Bob's grandfather decided to develop a new breed by introducing Hereford genetics. They needed a, an animal that was gonna, gonna make a, a good steak. So they, uh, they started crossing them with Herefords and finally arrived with what they thought was the perfect blend for this part of the world, which is three-quarter Hereford, a quarter Brahmin. And we call those cattle Victoria Brayfords, and they're a purebred uh, commercial Brayford herd that we've been breeding since the 1940s. When I took over management, and which would have been in the, kind of the mid-80s, uh, we started infusing some new blood into the herd, and, and we have a uh, we bought some outside bulls, Brayford bulls, and we also have a herd of uh, F1 Hereford Brahmin cows that we put Hereford bulls on to, uh, to get our three-quarter, one-quarter cross again and, and uh, bring those animals into the operation. McFadden Enterprises is made up of two family-owned ranches and a third leased operation. Altogether, they can support anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 head, depending on rainfall and forage availability. Our grazing system is a rotational system. It's not an intensive uh, system. We, we, we put the herd in a paddock for two to three weeks, depending on the time of the year, and then move. And most of our, our herds have about six to eight paddocks available to them, anywhere ranging in size from five to 700 acres. For cows and calves, this particular rotation system works really well and they feel like, you know, striving to always have continual improvement in the pastures and the grasslands is, is you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help the water resource here in the community. We, uh, we have a, a big river that borders the, the northern part of our property, the Guadalupe River, 
and it's a very important river for the bay system down here. So we feel like we need to do all we can to try to help create good, you know, clean water and quality water and, and better quantity of water. Also benefits the wildlife populations and we have better nesting cover for quail and we have better, uh, better winter feed for the deer and so it's, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a balance that we try to strive there. Bob studied range science in college, so properly managing his ranch's resources has always been a priority. It's also one of the main reasons McFadden Enterprises has been able to stay in business for so many years. Being sustainable is, a, is not an easy task, but it's a very important task. Our philosophy down here is if, if we're not economically sustainable, we really can't be environmentally sustainable. and so. We try to go at it from both sides, and so that, that means taking the best care of the, of the resource we can environmentally and, and managing it properly. So proper management and good economic management of the resource we feel like is, is an important component to be able to sustain the, the, the property as it is. Through the generations, the McCanns have always been beef industry advocates, and Bob has served as president of both the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association and the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. He believes it's critical for producers to volunteer their time at all levels of the beef industry. Well, it's important if you, if you want to have an industry around for your children or for your grandchildren, and uh, it's also wonderful networking, you know, for getting to know your fellow cattle producers or if you're in the, you know, in the business of selling cattle, it's, uh, I, I can't tell you how many, how many uh, relationships I've developed that ended up being pretty good relationships for the business also through those groups. Bob is also passionate about helping young producers get started in the beef industry, and he knows firsthand that getting them involved with agricultural organizations early on has multiple benefits. I could name a pretty long list of people that were just wonderful mentors, and because I got involved with it at, at a fairly young age, and uh, you know, I think for young people coming into the the industry, that's that's important. You know, I mean, uh, nobody knows all the answers. And, and you can certainly, uh, just, through, just through the relationships that you develop, um, I think probably become a better operator, a better manager, a better cattle operator. Bob's love for ranching is easy to see, and by keeping the family operation healthy and profitable, he's ensuring that generations to come will also be able to cherish and enjoy McFadden Enterprises. I'm just uh, kind of blessed that our family's been able to survive this long and and have what we have you know we all need to do our part to try to make that better for the for our next generation try to create you know maintain an environment that my children will be able to operate this ranch and, and be able to kind of take it on to the next level To keep up to date on the issues facing cattlemen and women and to help make a difference in the industry, why not join Bob McCann as a member of NCBA? It's easy to do. Just call 866-233-3872 or visit the website ncba.org. Still ahead on Cattlemen to Cattlemen, we'll share with you the stories of some of the recent winners of the National Beef Quality Assurance Award. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Are you ready to go deep in the heart of Texas for the 2020 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show? It's the cattle industry's biggest convention back in San Antonio, a place filled with incredible sights, history, food, and fun. And you can't afford to miss the huge NCBA Trade Show. The trade show is un unbelievable. There's, I think it's the biggest one I've ever been to, and it seems like it just gets bigger and better every year. There's no better place for cattlemen and women to learn, have fun, and connect with fellow producers from across the country. Cattle Industry Convention is one of those can't miss, right? If you haven't gone or haven't attended, you see so many old friends, and, and it really is, it's, it's a combination of business and social. 
amazing speakers, unbeatable education, all for cattle producers. So plan now to go deep in the heart of Texas for the 2020 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show. Visit ncba.org for more. Now a BQA tip from the Beef Quality Assurance Program. One of the first things we need to do when we receive a new set of calves is determine the risk of these cattle for developing respiratory disease. We can buy calves at a very low risk or calves at a very high risk. And this difference is based mostly upon source of the calves, are they direct from a ranch, are they purchased through a livestock auction and they're commingled, the age of the calves, the younger the calf, the greater the risk of respiratory disease, and also any prior history of prevention practices that the calves have had. You know, have they been vaccinated previously and so forth. So as we think about how we're going to process those calves, let's work with our veterinarian to determine what's going to be useful and helpful to the calves and also be cost effective. There's several other things we do to calves that are stressful. And stress, of course, increases the risk of bovine respiratory disease or pneumonia. Such things as castration, uh, managing horns, branding and so forth need to be done with great skill and, and be done in a manner that will result in the least amount of stress as possible on these calves. And finally, acclimating calves to the new environment. So instead of just turning calves loose and then we ride in and look for sick calves every day, develop a practice of acclimating these calves to you and your horse or your four-wheeler or walking in these calves depending on how you check them so that when we check calves or we move them from one place to another it's the least stress possible on the animals. Find out more about Beef Quality Assurance at BQA.org. Each year, a variety of cattle businesses and individuals are honored for their commitment to the principles of the BQA program. Today, we want to share with you the stories of the 2018 winners of the National BQA Awards. Let's head to Minnesota for a closer look at the Feed Yard Honoree. Located in Rock County on the western edge of Minnesota, Black X Farms is a family-owned cattle feeding operation that's now in the hands of brothers Peter and Jay Bakken. Black X Farms, Inc. Black X is an acronym, Bakken Land and Cattle. Bar X is our brand. My great-great-grandpa came over on the boat from Norway, and then uh, my grandpa farmed, and my dad took over from my grandpa. Uh, my dad and grandpa were milking at the time and raising some pigs. My dad didn't want to do that all of his life, so he decided to move across the road when that place came up for sale and started feeding some cattle. So Jay and I are we have fourth generation farmers, but uh, second generation cattle feeders. In addition to the feedlot, the Bakken family grows crops and has their own cow-calf herd. Peter and Jay have expanded the cattle feeding facilities to a capacity of nearly 3,000 head. Each day they strive to provide the highest level of animal health and comfort. You know, the whole beef quality assurance thing to me is not just about us. It's about uh, animal care and taking care of the animal. You know, we've, we've all figured out that the better you take care of the animals, the better they'll perform for you. It seems like there's always a there's always something you can make better, and that's what we're working to do. So when it comes to the BQA best management practices, uh, you know, they don't just check things off the list. Uh, they actually live and breathe it every day. The list of best management practices implemented at Black X Farms is long. They invested in a covered commodity shed to protect their feed. They work to get their pens clean and bedded, and they check their animals closely each day. The Bakken family also took action early on to become BQA certified. Because it's the right thing to do. It, it just is. I mean, it's, and if you do them the way you're supposed to do them, you'll be financially rewarded for them, so why not do it? That's the beauty of BQA, is it's all really basic stuff. Quiet animal handling. A lot of that has to do with facilities. The facilities that we have are not fancy, but they're very functional. From the guy in the back, to the guys at the chute that are doing the processing. Everybody's on the same page as far as how we're gonna handle these cattle. Jay and Peter are kind of my gold standard for how things are done in my practice area. 
And so it's nice because they're willing to talk to some of my other clients. If there's something that works at Bakken's house, I can tell one of my clients, hey, you should call Jay Bakken and talk with him about how he handled this situation. And I can kind of use them to influence how some of my other producers are going to do things. The Bakken family switched from a manual to a hydraulic squeeze chute and saw a significant drop in feed intake disruptions after working their cattle. They track performance data closely and work with their veterinarian and nutritionist to ensure their cattle are performing their best. That's why I say this whole BQA thing is not just about Black X Farms, it's about the veterinarian and the nutritionist and the banker and everybody that's involved in it so that you can take all this information and have collectively he and I and all those involved sorted out to make your operation better. Everybody's on the same team. It's a, it's a team approach to getting the calves that came in last night to be the, the fed cattle that are going to the plant tonight. Another unique attribute is the Bakken's commitment to being transparent in all they do. They welcome visitors and provide updates on what's happening on the farm to a local school classroom. One of the things that I'm doing is I'm an, an adopted farmer with fourth graders. So as far as reaching to the consumer at an early age, uh, we've taken videos and gone to the classroom with the feedstuffs and, and um, things that we use on our farm on a daily basis and just the hands-on, uh, see-for-yourself kind of things for the kids. They know that taking care of the animals and doing things right is how you get good performance and they've, they've led the example of that. And like when we've had tours and stuff here, you know, everything is just, it's not neat just the day of the tour, it's always well kept and well managed here. So that sets a very good example to others when they do come visit. Whether it's unloading cattle in the middle of the night or making sure the water tanks are clean, on Black X Farms, each BQA practice they follow is another step toward building trust with consumers. And it's easy to see that this family is committed to taking every step they can to produce healthy cattle that yield high quality beef. You're always looking to improve. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of being your own boss and having your own operation, is there's always something better you can do. And I think that's the reason that you have all the people on your team and you have a beef quality assurance program and you work with associations like the cattlemen and the state cattlemen and the beef council and your local vet. I'm a believer in the beef quality assurance program because it gives you some accountability and it also is something that, the last word, assurance. To me, why are we out here doing this? We're out here doing this to provide a quality beef product to the consumer. Every day, the NCBA staff in Denver and in Washington, D.C., work on issues that matter to cattle producing families. You can join in the fight for our industry's future by becoming an NCBA member. Just call 1-866-233-3872 or you can visit the website ncba.org. We're just getting started as we learn about BQA award-winning cattle operations. Coming up, we'll head to Nevada ranch country for a look at the 2018 cow-calf winner. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this. If you're looking for outstanding genetics that will work for you, then make plans now to be at the 2019 CK Cattle Headquarters Sale on October 25th in Hope Hall, Alabama. CK Cattle is a three-generation operation offering the best in Angus, Key Angus, and Sim Angus bulls and females, backed by a family that cares about their customers. The customer is the most important thing in our operation. You know, the CK guarantee is pretty simple. I mean, we live by the golden rule. We want to treat you like you want to be treated. If you have a problem with your bull, we're going to back them. Don't miss their 2019 sale offering more than 110 two-year-old bulls and 90 females, including 10 tiger-striped F1 Brayford heifers. It all happens Friday, October 25th. Learn more at the website ckcattle.com. Out here, 
You know what needs to be done, and you know what it means to those you're doing it for. But every sunrise brings something new with the weather, the soil, the markets, your machinery. You can't always predict what it will be. So it's good to know that Ram trucks are more than capable of helping you get it done right. Deep in the heart of Texas, that's where the Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show will be in 2020. It's the biggest convention just for cattle producers in San Antonio, a city with an amazing history that's packed with great food and fun. You can't miss it. So make plans now for the 2020 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show in San Antonio, February 5th to the 7th. Find out more at ncba.org. Welcome back. We're highlighting the operations and individuals who have been honored for their commitment to the principles of the Beef Quality Assurance Program. These award winners strive to provide consumers with confidence that they're buying a safe, wholesome, high-quality product when they choose beef. Now, let's meet the cow-calf winner, the Bentley Ranch in Nevada. Set in a picturesque valley in northern Nevada, Bentley Ranch was founded in 1997. Although the name is relatively new, the ranching operation has actually been around much longer. Bentley Ranch has a long history. It's actually part of the uh, Dangberg Ranch, and they were the pioneers and settlers here in this valley. My father purchased part of the Dangberg Ranch some years ago and uh, began to modernize it with water usage, sustainability, and I've been running Bentley Ranch now for five years and have continued that tradition with a main focus on bringing our beef quality up to worldwide standards. Today, Bentley Ranch is managed by Matt McKinney, who oversees this 60,000 acre cow-calf operation. We have uh, about 1,200 head of mother cows today. We keep our own heifers, we replace, keep all our own replacement heifers and uh, buy outside bulls. Um, our cow herd is a base of black, black, white face cow herd, and we use a little bit of Charlet as a terminal cross in the cow herd. Bentley Ranch is guided by the principle that great beef can be produced in an ethical and environmentally responsible way. Proper care of the cattle is one cornerstone of this philosophy. And our preventative health care is our number one priority. We watch whatever new technologies out there, we really are in conjunction with our local veterinarian and then the veterinarians that are behind the products and talk to them a lot, uh, try to prevent as much health problems as possible. Animal handling is another priority. All Bentley Ranch employees are BQA certified and trained on proper stockmanship to help reduce stress on the cattle. We work really hard on our low stress stockmanship. We use a lot of horses. Uh, we have a lot of big areas. We use a lot of horses. Um, when we do have to come to the confines of the corrals or the feedlot, we still try to keep that momentum of using horses, relaxed, nothing's in a hurry. You know, we still got tomorrow, we'll be all right. I believe in the Beef Quality Assurance Program because it makes sense. The principles are good for everybody to follow and there's success behind the program. We followed the program and we've been able to bring our cow herd to a healthier state, more consistent state, and a product that we can be proud of behind it. And I think the Beef Quality Assurance is the foundation to all that. Recently, the ranch expanded in a new direction, selling their beef directly to consumers. Bentley Ranch relies on the principles of the Beef Quality Assurance Program to help reassure consumers they're getting a safe, wholesome product. We have our own branded beef program where we're raising the cattle here, selling it ourselves, self-distributing to retailers, wholesalers, and uh, we have an internet store where we'll ship that stuff overnight. Before we started marketing it direct to the consumers, BQA was important. I knew that this animal was gonna be a, a steak or a roast on somebody's plate, but now that we are talking to our consumers directly, we use BQA as a protocol, as something, hey, we do this. You can trust that this is a wholesome product because we follow these principles. I think if you talk to anybody in this area who has purchased Bentley beef, 
Um, they have a really good reputation, not just in terms of how they manage uh, the ranch and the cattle, but in the product that people consume. There's you know, very high-end restaurants in this area who serve Bentley beef exclusively for that reason. Uh, so I think the fact that they've really adopted many of the principles that we talk about in beef quality assurance is all part of that really high consistency, high quality product that they ultimately produce. Bentley Ranch has an open gate policy and they're always willing to discuss their innovative management techniques, which ensures they're producing only the highest quality beef. We're very proud of what we do. We're very proud of all the quality assurance protocols we go through, our health protocols, and we are very open. People want to come talk to us, they want to come tour the facility. Please come, we're, we're very transparent. We want to show them that we're doing a good job because we want you to enjoy the product. Bentley beef is, well, we like to think of it as the best quality in the world. Uh, we match any other beef out there. We do that not only in the quality of the beef and the cows, but how we treat them. We have humane standards. We respect our cattle very much and think we owe it to them to uh, give them a nice home and make sure the quality of life is good until we need them. Quality is uh... A, a major priority for Bentley Ranch and any of our operations and the beef cattle herd from time of birth to the time that someone's enjoying that piece of meat is our most important job. Now, if you want to learn more about Beef Quality Assurance Certification, get insights on best cattle care and transportation practices and more, just visit bqa.org. Still to come on Cattlemen to Cattlemen, one of the leading livestock handling experts in the nation tells us why he's a believer in the value of the BQA program. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Now a BQA tip from the Beef Quality Assurance Program. When it comes to low stress cattle handling, I like to tell cattle producers to consider the five principles of cattle behavior. One, cattle want to see you. Number two, cattle want to go around you. Number three, cattle want to go back to the last safe place they have been. Number four, cattle want to be with and go with other cattle. And number five, cattle can only process one main thought at a time. Find out more about beef quality assurance at bqa.org. What does it mean to be an American cattleman? It means you have what it takes where it counts, on the inside. At Ritchie, we understand that. It's what's on the inside that defines us. We share the same values, ingenuity, commitment, sense of pride. These are the values that built this country. They're the values that built this company. Ritchie, proud to be a partner to the American cattlemen since 1921. When you're in the cattle business, no matter how much it's a business, it still starts with cattle. It's this basic notion that sits at the core of how we approach things at Beringer Engelheim. We understand when you put the cattle first, it just naturally leads to doing the right things. If you want to do well in this business, you start by doing right. Take care of the cattle, and they'll take care of you. We've been highlighting the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the operations and individuals who were honored for their commitment to the principles of the BQA program. Now, here's a look at Ron Gill, a well-known livestock handling expert and the winner of the 2018 BQA Educator Award. You never know where you'll find Dr. Ron Gill. He might be in the demonstration arena at a cattle industry convention or helping to train producers at a regional stockmanship and stewardship event. Or you might find him on horseback on his own cattle operation back home in Texas. I went to Angelo State and actually kind of minored in, in the, I wanted to go in the banking business and manage tr trust ranches is kind of what I thought I might do. And as I got opportunities to go into grad school and come through that, I discovered the livestock specialist side of things. And there was an opening in Dallas and I liked horses and beef cattle and that's what that primarily was. So I started in Dallas in 1984 as a livestock specialist. He's come a long way since then, 
In addition to running cattle in Texas, Dr. Gill is an animal science professor at Texas A&M University and is most widely known for his work in teaching others the best practices when it comes to cattle handling and stockmanship. And I met Ron in Denver and he was doing the BQA presentation at the Cattlemen's uh, College one year and I watched him and I was just, I was just, it was so incredible to me how he could tell people in a real layman's term things that were very important. So he has a way of talking to anybody on a level that they could understand and take it home to the ranch. I'm always so impressed with the lessons that he imparts on producers, sort of the common sense way he shares um, animal handling techniques with producers. And I think even the most seasoned ranchers and producers walk away from a clinic with Dr. Gill with um, a new perspective or a different perspective, even if it's something they've been doing for decades. So every one we've done, we try to talk about how that impacts quality and how that impacts safety and meat quality and everything else. So it, it's been a core tenet of what we've done in those. And we always try to bring that stockmanship component back around to this systems approach to managing quality. Over the past two decades, Dr. Gill has worked closely with the Beef Quality Assurance Program. He helped launch BQA in Texas and served many years as the Texas BQA coordinator. And he's traveled the country showing producers better methods of cattle handling. A lot of times we get focused on driving the body of a cow. That has no effect whatsoever. You've got to direct your pressure toward the eye or a little noise toward the ear to get any kind of effect. You know, one of the core tenets of BQA is cattle handling and stewardship. And so to me, it's a direct tie-in. And everything we do from a stockmanship standpoint will affect everything else related to beef quality assurance. If we can handle them better, we have less stress, less sickness, less need to treat, less worry about residues, injection site lesions. So that major component that's plagued us for years is injection sites. We can cut nearly all of that out uh, and if we can handle them easier in the chute, we can get our vaccines in them, they'll respond to them better. It all just builds on itself. In addition to low stress cattle handling, Dr. Gill has also helped producers find better ways to design and use their working facilities, developed a program he called Chuteside Manners, and worked to improve the way cattle vaccines are handled. We got into realizing people weren't handling vaccine right. Vaccination protocols and timing wasn't right. And this was before we actually had a cow-calf or stalker level BQA program in Texas. We had one at the feedlot level, but not cow-calf and stalkers. And you see a lot of coolers with holes cut in the side of them. Well, that was my idea back in 92 or 3, I think, after this deal and trying to keep vaccines out of the sunlight. No doubt consumers today are curious about how their beef is produced. And that makes BQA more important than ever. Dr. Ron Gill is proud of the role he plays in giving cattle producers the know-how to continuously improve their stockmanship and deliver on the promise of beef quality assurance. Ron Gill is passionate about anything that has to do with livestock production, cattle production. And his focus has really been on BQA and he really believes it. He really believes in it and believes in the program. He is um, someone who I think has benefited our industry in so many ways uh, and I think is just a really important educator for beef quality assurance in our country. One of the best things about BQA is that whatever somebody develops, everybody gets. And it's been a great tool to speed this process along. We don't keep reinventing the wheel. The ability to, to affect change in people's lives and hopefully a positive most of the time uh, and be able to work in an industry that I love Oh, it's been very satisfying. You can find Ron Gill on the road at regional stockmanship and stewardship events all across the country. The training sessions provide hands-on learning in the area of beef quality assurance and low-stress cattle handling. If you'd like to attend one of these sessions, just visit stockmanshipandstewardship.org for details on when and where you can find an event. Still ahead, we'll check in with the always entertaining Baxter Black. Stay with us.
Did you know that Prefort makes over a thousand different farm, ranch, and rodeo items? And now, thanks to Prefort Direct, it's easier than ever before to get access to every item Prefort makes delivered direct to your local dealer. For more information about Prefort Direct, visit us at prefort.com. Prefort, America's number one name in farm, ranch, and rodeo. Speaking about funny, Baxter Black has put together a six-hour 3-DVD collaboration of non-stop agro humor. Baxter has been entertaining farmers and ranchers from Johnny Carson to Elko, Dolly Parton to Las Vegas, and Ark City to Martin, Tennessee. Treat yourself. It's like being there. Three DVDs for 25 bucks. Call 800-654-2550 or baxterblack.com. Did I say non-educational? I like living someplace where a horse matters. There's just some country where horseback's the only way to get the job done. Places where the four-wheeler is a poor second. Besides, it's hard to throw a rope from a four-wheeler. And it's a great feeling to be pushing a cow out of the mesquite, packing a dude down the Grand Canyon, or tracking a mountain lion on the high ridge, knowing that you're on the perfect tool for the job. You look at a horse different when he's on the payroll. And I like being a person to whom a horse matters. Puts me in such good company. Robert E. Lee, Rudyard Kipling, Ray Hunt, Queen Elizabeth, Jerry Diaz, Casey Tibbs, Cowboys, Mongols, Gauchos, Teamsters, Lepizoners, and Vaqueros of all kind. Granted, being a horse person doesn't make me easier to get along with, but it gives me a direct connection to one of the most ancient, mutually beneficial interspecies relationships on the planet. Winston Churchill said there's something about the outside of a horse that's good for the inside of a man. And I like being there when a horse matters, when you can't do the job alone, a cow in the bog, a race against time, a mountain to cross, a crevice to leap, a war to win, or a sweetheart to impress, or when you've gone too far to walk back. Shakespeare's King Richard III said when fate hung in the balance, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. I've also come to believe that you either are a horse person or you aren't. It's a primitive acceptance, often mutual. It's a lack of fear. You see it in some kids when they're first introduced to a horse, and it always gives me a sense of wonder to be there to help them make their first acquaintance. And I believe the horse can sense that child's innate trust. It's the beginning of a natural bond. Yeah, it is. I count myself very lucky that I get to be a part of the wonderful world of horse sweat, soft noses, close calls, and twilight on the trail. I like living a life where a horse matters. This is Baxter Black from out there. We'll have more right after this. Stay with us. Hello, friends, and welcome to the NCBA's Cattlemen's Call podcast. Now, the goal of this podcast is to focus on the people in the beef industry. We all have stories to tell. We all have successes and failures, and it's always great to talk about all the hard work that we put in to our operations in our industry. So we're taking the time to talk about what everyone else is talking about for cattlemen and women to share what's on their minds. And make sure and subscribe to the Cattlemen's Call podcast today. At Case IH, we believe it's our job to provide you with solutions. That's why our Farmall and Maxim tractors, as well as our tools and attachments, are designed with you in mind. From mowing to baling to loading and more, we're here to help turn your to-dos into to-dones. At Case IH, we'll keep your days running smoothly with equipment that's durable, versatile, and highly efficient. No wonder farmers are more loyal to Case IH than any other brand. Visit your local dealer or go to caseih.com forward slash livestock for more. It started with a man, a plot of land, and a few head of cattle. That man, your great-grandfather. You've got his name and his legacy, too. It's what you fight to live up to and work to leave behind. With innovation, integrity, and passion that runs as deep as yours, we'll be there for your operation, for your future, for you. 
This is why Merck Animal Health works. Welcome back. For this week's Legacy Photos, we're going to take a look at some beautiful images from our BQA award-winning operations. Do you want to see your photo on Cattleman to Cattleman? You can submit your favorite shots a couple of ways. Either message them to us on the Cattleman to Cattleman Facebook page, or you can email them to c2c at beef.org. Include your ranch or farm name and your hometown, and we may use them on a future episode. Well, that wraps up this edition of NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman. Thanks so much for spending time with us. We'll see you again next week right here on RFD TV.